hello and welcome to my channel today we'll be doing a makeup with the new dior releases so this is dior uh, backstage smoky essential number two and here i have two of the new reformulated lipsticks uh, i really enjoyed the packaging i uh, unboxed it yesterday um, I received the order, so I bought two shades, 737 Mystere and 846 Concord. Both of these are like uh, velvet. Uh, this is how the packaging looks and I got uh, this lipstick engraved with my name. Really beautiful with magnetic case. They look very chic, very classy now. This is the red one. Uh, I already did a swatch, so this is more like um, orange red, let's say, Concord. And then the other one that I got, same magnetic uh, closure. It is more like an orange brown, burnt orange brown, but it is on the deepest side. It is very pretty. I um, wore it yesterday a little bit in the house to see how it wears. Um, I do like the formula, but first let's uh, play with this one. Uh, now I do have uh, all of these backstage eyeshadows and I'm planning to do a comparison with the ones that I have. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, but it'll come for sure. Uh, because I'm feeling that um, somehow I do think I have all the shades in here, of course. Uh, probably reformulated and everything but yeah um, as you know I really love the packaging I wish instead of this transparent glass it will be like a mirror so I don't have to use another one uh, but this is just me next I will be doing I think more like a hello situation let's say and I'm going to take uh, a mix between these two shades from here from the bottom um, with this kind of brush this is refire number 13 and I'm going just to mix both of these tap the excess and let's apply this in the area so applies really nice and a little bit in here so we'll have something like this on the eyes and now I want to take this beige uh, shimmer from here, it is a metal. Uh, this is how it looks and I'll place that in the middle and let's see how it works. Okay. It is a metal, but if you see my eyes, it's kind of um, the same color in my eyelids, just a little bit more reflecting, uh, but not as much as I want it to be reflected. Uh, and I will actually, I will take this shade from the middle in here. I will take it with a pointy brush uh pack it in here really well let's see how this turn out and i'm going just here on the edges and yeah it is a shadow but not as i wanted to taking the same a beige thing, uh, the middle one from here, and I'm going to go under the eye. I did the same thing to the other eye, and now I'm going to take this to the black and this uh, gray from here. So the smoky wood and matte black, really on the pointy of this brush tapping the excess and then um, very close to the eyelash I'm going just to blend that up and under 
going to take more of that gray shade and I'm going just packing it here very very close to the to the lash uh, to the eyelashes and this is how it looks and I'm going to take this uh, beige shimmer from here and I'm going to apply to my inner corner and these are like more subtle in a way but uh, how it looks uh, it looks really nice I do like it I did my face off camera. I used the Petmograph foundation. This is in shade light seven combined with her concealer in shade L2 and her uh, under eye powder, which is really great by now. And as a blush, I did apply this one from Chanel, the Le Beige Winter Glow. This is in shade mauve glass. I think it goes well with this purplish look because this is more like a berry color really pretty on the uh, cheek um, so I do love this blush really really much and now um, we are going to try the two lipstick shades that we have so first I'm going to try the red one the 846 so this is 846 Concord this is a red lipstick with a little bit of orange in it. Now, uh, this have like a smell. I don't like the smell. I don't know if I, because I'm <laughs> uh, with the flu still, but uh, it's not a pleasant smell, let's say, in a way. It's not disturbing, but it is there. Uh, of course, once applied, the smell will disappear, so it's first uh, minutes, let's say, until um, it evaporates, or I don't know. Um, it feels very comfortable on the lips. It's a velvet formula, but you still can feel like it's matte. Uh, however, these are not transfer-proof lipstick. I wear the other shades other shade yesterday um, so it is not transfer proof uh, this was the red one that i bought let's try the orangey brown one this is in shade 737 737 this is a beautiful burnt orange brown i don't know um, it is really nice. I think <laughs> I do like it how it wears with the makeup look for today. It is very for a night out, let's say, but I do like it very, very much. I know these are reformulated. I don't own many uh, Dior lipsticks, let's say, in a velvet formula, but I do love this one. Uh, probably I will wear this more and tell you how this wears. However, I did wear this shade yesterday. Uh, it is a not, not a transfer proof uh, formula, so it will transfer. Uh, but it did wear pretty good for three hours that I have it. I actually eat with it. And um, it does not dry the lips. This is one thing that I like it. That it's still um, matte in a way. I mean, it will stay longer on your lips. Uh, but it's not it wasn't drying my lips uh very uh, i don't know like the ones that they have the transfer proof formula that actually it is very very drying this one it's a little bit mild let's say um but yeah and so my final thoughts um about this palette it is a gorgeous one i do enjoy the formula very much of this dior backstage it's one of my favorite Again, with this Dior, even Chanel eyeshadows, they are more subtle, classy in a way. You will not get the same shine as Natasha Denona or Petmograph. If you are searching for that, you will not find that in the shimmer or like satin shimmer that they have in here. It's more, it's a very subtle 
shine they have however it is very beautiful in real life they look really really nice i think this palette it's also like you can achieve day-to-day -day makeup looks even for the valentine's day because of the berry shades in here smoky looks hello looks it's versatile it's really travel friendly it's compact it is chic uh, i wish they would replace this uh they will put a mirror or something so i cannot uh, wear uh, use another palette uh, to do my makeup a uh, very small fallout with this one um and yeah you know i love it i love this formula uh, very much and every time they release one palette even though i think uh, all these shades in some way or another i do already have them in my other backstage palettes and i'm planning to do a comparison between them so stay tuned about that and regarding the lipsticks now i don't have uh, a lot of other Dior lipsticks let's say I pick up only the velvet ones just because I wanted something that will last me longer the satin usually need to reapply during the day uh, now the packaging stunning it feels luxurious uh, it is magnetic I don't know I do like it is very very uh, slim in here um, of course it is worth the money uh, probably not you pay for the war however the formula it is really nice uh, it is a velvety one it's not a transfer one so don't expect this to to be a transfer proof it will transfer when you eat or drink but it lasts a really good time i did wear this shade uh, yesterday a little bit in the house so uh, what i like it it was non-drying uh, as it wears and it fades beautifully so this is a plus for me uh now of course you can find on the market something similar and maybe half price but it's the or it is very beautiful if you have the uh, money again to splurge uh, very very beautiful however uh, i don't feel uh, the formula it is a velvety one but i feel it more like a matte it's not matte matte completely but i don't feel it that velvety texture when I apply it, however, they are very creamy once you apply it. I have it for a, like a period of time now, you can see it's not transfer proof at all, uh, but it does wear uh, and I don't know, it feels nice on the lips. It does have a smell that I don't like when you first apply it, uh, but it will fade. I mean, now I don't feel it at all. So this was my video with Dior. Um, backstage uh, essential uh, how it is called smoky essential and the new dior velvet lipsticks that i bought for sure i will buy um, some satin ones some satin lipsticks in the future to try them um, but uh, yeah now um, again it's up to you i do like the palette the colors very very much and the lipsticks but it's up to you in the end if you have the budget to splurge it uh, my recommendation, uh, order direct from the website, they have like the whole experience when you receive the package yesterday. I was very, very happy because I finally get my box, <laughs> Christian Dior box. I mean, it is a box, it is nothing special, but I've always seen like uh, on social media people receiving that. And uh, every time I place an order, I don't know what I did wrong, but I never got the box. So yeah, it is something uh, very small, but it makes you happy so yeah i think in the end um uh, you can buy and purchase uh something just because it will make you happy uh so that was my video and a review i will link everything that i use down below um, in the description box if you shop through my links it will have my channel so thank you very much for that uh, i wish you a good day a great day and see you next time bye bye